All right, so I got Marco, and then uh, Rudy gonna come out and give his input. So, uh, off camera, you said you about 50% worried about it. Uh, break that down. I would say half and half. Uh, so, it's a toss up if I'm if I'm a uh, pro someone, if I'm a pro female. Like, um, I really don't approach really too much. Um, I will if I really, really, really like. Um, if I am, if I am rejected, then it's you know it's it's good, it's cool. Um, it doesn't bother me, but I would say it. When I say 50-50, I say that determines whether or not I decide I want to approach a chick. Yeah, not. you know what I'm saying. That so, that that would determine whether or not if I approach. If I'm getting the signals. I feel like I'm getting this, a good signal problem, then I, I will approach. Because there's, because I asked, like, what is it, what is it about the chick that makes you, because we've seen a lot of beautiful women here since you've been here. What is it about a chick that makes you either A, go, or B, don't go? Like, what is it about the chick? Because you'll see a chick, or I'll see a chick, and she's attractive, and is it, is it, what? I, I say, I guess a lot of chicks play games as well. So, when you are you, you meaning just, here in Brazil or what I do you mean, mean? No, I, I mean, well, I can't really say too much in Brazil because I really haven't approached many here in Brazil. I've approached only very few, but even in the states, I only approached very few. So I would say, like, uh, what I what I mean is. Uh, they can play a game like they might give me give me your signals, but then when you you come off or you know you ask them, you know, you know you might ask them out or ask them for the information. Then it's like a, a game, so it's like that's a know. that's a United States game. That's a hundred percent United States. Now here in Brazil, I've never I've never ever ever came across uh, where a chick that was looking at me and I approached. Only place I've ever experienced that was in Hasifa, and I made a, I made a video talking about the girls looking as if they were interested, and then you run up on them, and then they wonder why the hell you over there talking to me. But in Salvador, I've never experienced that. Uh, I just never experienced it, you know what I'm saying? But the reason I ask is is what makes, what what pulls you, like, if you see a chick, like say this chick right here walking across, if you see her, you're like, damn, she's fine. What's stopping you from going to talk to her? Like, could you say 50%? What's, is it something mentally that would say, okay, either, or she looked too good for me. Cause I, honestly, bro, it's not it's not just you. I feel like it's it's Western conditioning to when you see a beautiful woman, you look and then you don't approach because you probably already prejudge yourself or you, you, you put yourself out of the game before you even get in there. And I think a lot of men do that just because of how we grew up in the in the US. So I feel like it's Western conditioning um, for that for that to, that mindset to happen. Because then when you come to Brazil, you see so many beautiful women, you're almost in like, like in awe type shit. Right, right. So, you know, I, I get it. And it, I, it happened to me when I first got here, I was like, damn. Cause usually the amount of beautiful women we've seen, you probably don't see them for like a day or two, depending on where you at. But for the most part, you're not gonna see them too much back to back to back to back to back within like a 10, a 10, uh, 10 foot radius. You know what I'm saying? Not in the States. But here, I feel like dudes just be like, the whole entire time type shit. Internally, they just be like that. Um, like, yeah, I mean, yeah, you're right. I mean, I also too think, I also think it's me too, because like, I'm I'm a bit of an older guy. Um, you know what I mean? I'm, a, I'm an older guy, so I'm, a lot of times, like I, you know, I, I'll play because I'm a, I'm a dude, I'm a guy. But at the same time, too, I think like I'm looking for something, maybe you know, I'm looking for something more serious. Yeah, maybe a little bit more serious. But but, but while I'm here, I'm about to say you are on here, vacation. Yeah, that, you, I'm not while gonna I'm let here, you get away with you know, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, on vacation, <laughs> I was not gonna get. I was, I was not gonna let you get away with that. Nah, but while I'm but here, yeah, I get it. Yeah, you know, of like, course. You know, it's so, I mean, I like to have fun, you know, but yeah, that's the truth. I mean, so I think that, that kind of plays a part in it. Good. Me. 
with the 50-50 uh, thing. So, you know what I mean? Yeah, man. I mean, but you, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right about you know, um, here. You can shoot all day because they're they here all day. Yeah. Beautiful women here everywhere. And it don't matter. It really don't matter if you get rejected or not. I mean, I mean, I all right, so let us get Rudy. Let's get Rudy's standpoint on it. All right, so Rudy's been around uh, Brazil before, right? Mm -hmm. And he's been to other countries as well. So when you see it, so how do you? Does is rejection important? Does it discourage you uh, when you see a beautiful woman? Is it something that you just shoot, or you kind of half step, or you hesitate, or you just don't approach at all? I mean, if you're not comfortable with approaching women, it, it can be. It, you can get. It, you, it can get nerve. It can get um, nerve wracking at, at, at first. Yeah. But after a while, when you just start approaching and you get, you get you, some say no, some say yes. It, do, it you just become numb to it. Right. So, so the most important thing is, is basically just try. The worst they can say is you say no. Exactly. You just got to know how to just. <laughs> you just got to know. I mean, if, you know, you win some, you lose some. Right. But it's, I like to say it's a it's a law of averages. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And the, and and typically for every 10 you talk to, two would say yes. And yeah. I would say that would be a law of averages of the United States. Yeah. Maybe one now. Yeah. In Brazil, I would say it's probably it's probably a, a 60 60 to 70 percent chance and and if you don't speak the language, it's, it's still a 50/50 shot. Right? Yeah. So I would take 2 out of 10. You would take 2 out of 10 chances or 50%. 50% is going to be better. And that's not even speaking the language. Yeah, I mean... So you have a higher percentage even not knowing shit, being a being an average guy in Brazil uh, and still can get the number of somebody that's beautiful. Yeah. Kind of I mean, like how you did the other day at the club. Yeah. And that was exactly. a beautiful chick. Actually, yeah. I need to show you her Instagram. She's okay. Beautiful. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, no. I know. I know. So, I know, I know yeah. But we saw, we saw her in person before we saw her Instagram page. But, again... A lot of guys probably wouldn't approach her. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, she was actually surprised they even approached her. Like this girl right here is, I, is that's walking on the screen right here is beautiful. Hello, yeah. hello. <laughs> she didn't look, but anyway, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I mean, honestly, it, it, you got, it's, it's also a lot of averages. But um, I mean, like I say, once you get once you get used to just approaching them, you get numb to it. All right. It's all about. I mean, you gotta you gotta take your oh, yeah. chances, um, and don't. I would just basically think a lot of guys like the I think the reason why they are afraid of approaching is mainly because they're worried about striking out, and just, instead of just getting the first base. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So don't I mean don't try. I mean you can get you can swing for the fences, but if you're not used to approaching, you know, just you know get a single, get a double. You know what I'm saying? Get, get, get a triple. Just get just get a hit. And eventually, you start start getting comfortable with, you know, with approaching women in person. And, I mean, you could do it at any type of social, any right. type of social event. Not right. necessarily a club. You can go to, like, a dance class. You could go to, um, you can go to a get-together. Yeah. There's plenty of places to approach women, so don't So I that. feel like, yeah, if you're going to use that analogy, it's in a sense, like, before every basketball game, you go out there and do your pre your pre-game warm-ups. Your walkthroughs, your layups, your routine, right? So I feel like if you're in the streets or, and you're at the club, you're at the bars, you're around in the functions, you might not necessarily want this chick for a girlfriend or somebody to date long term. Uh, you might just want to take her out on a date, right? Um, and just I feel like breaking that ice is the most important part. That's like getting a base hit you know what i'm saying first a first down a little nickel yeah. and diamond down the field type yeah. shit you know right? i mean you're not you know you're not gonna get a, a wide open you're not gonna lay a wide open slam dunk slam you're not gonna get a wide open a slam dunk with lane wide open you know what i'm saying right yeah. i mean huh? you might but you might but you know white girl no no i said you, you said you wouldn't get a uh, yeah. Slam dunk. I mean, your chances are low. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you 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 can get a grand slam you can get one, day yeah. one. Yeah, you can get. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You, yeah. you can get a grand slam, but you know what I'm saying. You can go for fifty day one if you really wanted to. Um, but again, they're just going. It's, it's it's about the effort. 
and wanting to try and put your best foot forward, you know? Like, but I feel like, again, it's not all about the females, but let's be a hundred. You guys want to be females. We're men. We want to, we look at females, we see females, we're attracted to only females. Like, so of course, you want to go out on a date. You want to go out for drinks. You want to meet people while you're in town. You know, like you want to have a good time. So let's not be oblivious to, to, to think dudes don't want to meet females. But if you don't try, you're not going to meet anybody, you know. And I've seen, again, I've seen guys come here, don't meet people, or they don't try. And then, hey, they had a good time going to parties, doing this, doing that. And then it just be that, which is cool too. You know what I'm saying? It all depends on what you what you're doing. But now we're talking about can you be an introvert in Brazil and have success? I know this was a topic that we talked about before, and uh, Rudy wants to give his insight on it, uh, just based off of him uh, experience in Brazil, Brazilians throughout his times of coming here. Oh my God! I mean, yeah, between between living between being in the states and being and being here. Um, Really, what you got to do, first of all, like I said, I'm an introvert, so I'm a little bit more reserved than you know most other people. But the reason, the reason why we were having this concept is because people think that you can't do it. But what I actually had to do was actually put myself out there. And at first, like I said, yeah, at first it's nerve wracking, but once you start, once you just start interacting with people, you can get you, you can get a better idea. Okay. Here's the people I want to be hanging around. Here's the people I don't want to be hanging around. And then, as you get com and as you get comfortable, you can start bringing out your you can start bringing out your your own personal charisma and character. So, I know for me, the best the best way I started doing it was start going out social. Like for me, I went to you know Sama class. I went to Portuguese speaking. I did Portuguese speaking class. I've done. Um, I went to the Samba school. I went to the lo I went to local Samba schools in the states. If I was out here, I would just put myself out there and just, yeah. I would start going, basically, okay, where can I go where I can interact with people, where, where I can just interact with people? So, um, you were, so, so you're an introvert guy, and so you would suggest guys who are introverts, who don't drink, because you don't really drink like that. No. You drink a little bit, you know what I'm saying? So for guys who very, drink very little or don't drink at all and who are introverted, you would recommend them getting involved with the culture if you want to yeah, come to brazil exactly, exactly. you have to put yourself out there because brazilians are very extroverted They're way extroverted because yeah. even even when even the ones that actually interact with say they always be telling me stuff that's going on going well I, and sometimes i have to i have to pump the brakes on them and let them go hey hey wait wait, 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 wait i'm a little bit you know letting them know i'm a little bit more reserved and a little bit more choosy as, as far as where i want to go as far as where i want to go yeah but if you just put yourself out, like I said, if you just put yourself out there and just start talking and just start talking to people, eventually, the right, which will eventually lead you to talk, being around the right people, then you start you start building a you start building a comfort level as far as interacting interacting with Brazilians. I mean, I get it because I get it because I've been through that through that I've been through that phase. But the way I got around it was put put myself in in a, in a controlled social environment where I'm comfortable with talking to people. Right. Because you know. With, obviously, with Fred, he's comfortable walking down the street. He's talking to walking some random person on the street. You know what I'm saying? For someone who's probably a little more introverted, introverted, more reserved, they probably want to, you know, a controlled environment where they can, you know, talk to a handful of people. Right. And then once you put yourself in that type of environment, then you can start. Then you can start. Then you can start. You know, saying then you, then it'll then you start getting comfortable being in environments with a lot of people. Like, for me, the only way I got comfortable around like big environments is. Obviously, being in those type of environments. I mean, I've done carnival, I've done carnival in the Caribbean for for ten years. I've been to Brazil carnival before myself. Yeah, in Rio. In in Rio, um, also here, you know, for pre and post carnival. But a lot, but a lot of ways. But if, if you you know, if you live more reserved and you're more to yourself, just put yourself in the start. Start small. Don't don't necessarily start big. It, it will help. It'll help if you're in a social circle. But if you're the type that you prefer to be around on your own. Start start small, and then you start small. And then once you start getting comfortable, then you can then you can start moving over to bigger crowds. Food like you've been around, you've been you've been around like this ain't your first time. This is my first time. This this is only my second time out of the country. So you know, um, I like to dip my feet in the water just to see what's what's going on so that's why i say 
with me, it comes to 50 50 percent whether or not I decide I want to approach a, a woman. Um, I just gotta feel it. I, if I feel it, if she's feeling me, she's gonna let me know she's feeling me. I'm gonna let her know I'm feeling her, and you know, and then I'll, I'll approach with her. But I say you, I say you're right about that. You got more experience. You got more experience on on uh, traveling. So, so, I, so okay. So like, we talked about before. Oh, I made videos um, saying like, if you're walking down the street and a girl's looking at you, here it means she's interested, right? So in your case, you have to be feeling her. God damn. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shit. Bro, this girl got cake. God damn. All right, let's get back on tap. On tap. God damn. All right, so uh, white girl too. Anyways, uh, I lost my train of thought. So if you're walking down the street and a girl is choosing you, it's, it's, it's not that she's interested in you You have to be interested in her Even if she is beautiful Because there's been a lot of them That I've seen I was like damn she's looking at you But you have to be You have to be interested in her In order for, Or you have to be feeling it uh, For it to To flourish more I get it too You know Because There's a lot of chicks that look at me And I don't be interested You know So I gotta, It gotta be somebody That I'm interested in too um, So I, I feel that as well all right, now we really finna end this video. You know what I'm saying? But I had to get that part in there. So again, appreciate you, Rudy. Appreciate you, Marco. We'll see you guys in the next video.